who still has the legs to be able to give the movement that's absolutely necessary tonight against the player role in the fight. But in the center of the ring, it's like a ridge going through the ring. We've talked about it for to do that all through the fight. Yes, of course. And that's Broner's nerve in his past performances. Getting off to a rather, not necessarily slow start, but takes the first few rounds to see what his opponent comes on after he's seen what his opponent can do. What we saw in his last fight against Broner utilizing that Philly shell made famous by the likes of James Tony and Kenny Norton. As well. Looks for the lead left hook that catches nothing but air out in the exit just past the minute mark of the second round Malinaji attacking the body Two combination there's a nice straight right hand that tags Malinaji fight focusing more on conditioning than strength for this fight as they continue to throw it was an interesting fascinating fight already so far very entertaining surprise surprise <laughs> shocking huh Broner will win that battle because one upstairs three punch now putting together the combinations and landing on Broner for the Broner defending as well for the first time all that she loves a blue able <laughs> and of course Broner has nuclear power in both hands and Malinaji the, the number of punches strong and landed twice as many very last one this two round. upstairs under 30 seconds through four rounds let's see what we think uh, I have got Malinaji ahead as the Steve Farwood and Bernard do have it even but he's landing yep. this is the I mean, it's very, very close. There's a straight, the jab that pops Malinaji's head back, and Broner now getting busier. Right uppercut just misses. Jab, and Broner now getting... And he took it, but Broner's only throwing like, I'll say, one or well, two punches. And hit not anymore, again. is that all? Fantastic five rounds thus far here in Brooklyn as we go to the sixth. The clash of power versus boxing, and we've seen that. with that right. This fight has unfolded, Bernard. Well, I'm not surprised because Paulie is wearing down and Broner's hitting with clean, hard edging ahead. And Steve and I have it uh, even, but clearly the momentum in this fight swing. can never be questioned. We talked about Lining of heart. Yeah, I fought the Cotto fight with that orbit. He's coming forward. Paulie's not a big puncher. He doesn't respect Paulie punch. And this is where the fight changes. Out. Able to just absorb final rounds. Broner trying to join the likes of Roberto Duran and Roy Jones Jr. and Roberto Robert Guerrero is the only fighters to win titles in their first jab, triple, and the right uppercut. Another straight right hand backs Malinaji up using the jab. And Broner escapes. And now on the attack. Looking to become a three-division champion. At the age of 23 years and 11 months, triple crown at 22 years. Somebody has to win. Oh, and Malinaji's head gets popped.
Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Hey, I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know, I lost. Hold on, 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 wait, wait, don't brag about taking my side piece. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right. 